Hello and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim and in this video I want to talk about the importance of risk control when aiming in FPS games. And I believe all the best FPS gamers in the world have some of the best risk control in the world. And be the reason is that most of the aiming occurs within the range of the wrist. So especially in a game like Counter-Strike where most of your aiming gets done within this range right here, you know, maybe like half a screen, you primarily do that with the wrist. But maybe in like a game like Overwatch where you're doing like 180s and you're looking up all, you know, massive distance of screen distance, then you might start incorporating more forearm, but still majority of the time you're still aiming with the wrist because most of the time the enemy's in front of you, right? And um, you can anticipate where they're going to come from. So I want you to get really familiar with how to use your wrist. And you need to find a sensitivity where you feel like when you bend your wrists and aim with your wrist, your sensitivity is matching your feel. So, you know, again, if your sense is too low and your wrist doesn't move that far or you feel uncomfortable and you feel like your sense is over undershooting, then higher your sense. Or say if your sense is too high and you're moving your wrist and you're overshooting stuff, then lower it, right? So it's just completely a feel-based thing and that sensitivity is something you have to find that matches your feel. But nonetheless, you have to get really comfortable with knowing how to use your wrist. And you know, if once you're in your ready position in your pivot point, just practice moving your wrist around back and forth and get used to seeing that maximum left, maximum right wrist range. And you start becoming familiar of how to move your wrist left and right. And if you'll notice my uh, webcam, if you'll notice now that my pivot point, my wrist is at the front edge of the table, well, with good wrist control, I can still aim with accuracy because I have really good wrist, wrist control. So um, if I move my pivot point up now where my elbow's on the table, well, I can still aim with precision because I have really good wrist control. So uh, yeah, I feel like if you can have good control of wrists, good control over your wrist, you can aim with precision because most of your work gets done in this range. So when you aim in this half a screen with the distance, there is going to be some finger uh, pressure and finger control involved. It's going to really depend on your grip because um, remember I mentioned in the first video how I like to hold the mouse where there's no air gap in between my fingers and the mouse and my palm is completely overlapping the mouse. Well, I don't, with this particular grip, there's not much uh, finger um, finger involvement. Whereas other gamers where they have more air in between and the mouse is more in their fingertips, well, their pressure points from their hand on the mouse are primarily in the fingers. So they're gonna have a little bit more control or feel that's incorporated with their fingers. So, but regardless, they're still using their wrist for most of the range of motion. And you know, there might be more finger involvement for those very tiny motions where you're aiming just barely a little bit like this. But again, like 80% of the aiming occurs in the wrist. So yeah, that's something I want you guys to work on that you, uh, people that are having issues with aim and you, know, you just can't get comfortable with your mouse. We'll get comfortable with this wrist movement and get really familiar with that range of motion and to find the sensitivity that matches that. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully that helped you. Give it a thumbs up if it did and subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks.